Okay, so I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of a walkthrough on um, how to uh, set up a new song in Pro for Presenter uh, 7. Uh, this is just for us here at Lee Heights. So uh, what you do is you come in and you click on uh, Pro Presenter. It's down here as Pro uh, Prez. Um, and you open it up. And here you'll already see uh, all the songs that we had uh, from last week. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and delete those. Um, now what that did whenever we deleted them, uh, it, it deleted them out of our Sunday morning playlist, which you, you can see here. But if you went under songs, it has a list of all the songs uh, that we have played. And so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to see uh, what songs uh, is gonna, are going to be played. Um, let's see. So, uh, we're going to, uh, put a new song in here. So this is how you do it. So you make sure that you're clicked on songs. Uh, then you come up here to the search tab right here. You click search. You make sure that you have song select right here, which is a weird circle thing. Uh, this over here, I believe is a list of things that we already have in pro presenter. It's our library. We're going to go to song select, uh, and then we're going to type in the song. So the first song is, this is amazing grace. If I can type. Uh, which is of course, uh, not by Michael Jackson, uh, but by Jeremy Riddle, Josh Farrow and Phil Wickham. So you're going to go ahead and slick, uh, click on that. Um, so here, uh, you know, you just want to make sure, uh, that it's the right song. Uh, and then you're going to click import. And then once you're here, uh, just go ahead and click on the lyrics theme. So here you'll have the option to pick different, um, different, uh, themes, uh, things like that. So what we are using, um, right now is just lyrics. Um, we have other options, but we're just going to go with lyrics. So you click on it, um, and you click import. So once you have the songs imported, uh, you want to look at uh, you want to look at each slide, and what we want is we want to make sure that each line is clean. And what I mean by that is you don't want uh, two words by themselves on the slide. You kind of want it to be even, uh, like you can see here in seven. So you see here an eight for me is by itself, and two kings is by itself. Uh, in uh, one, uh, darkness uh, is by itself. So uh, we don't want that. We want everything to look smooth like six here. So you're going to right click uh, on it, uh, on uh, the first one that you need to edit, and you're going to go to edit slide. Uh, in here is where you're going to actually edit the slide. So uh, what I did is you highlight or you hover over uh, the words, as you can see there, uh, with the big mounts, uh, and then you left click on it, and this box is going to appear. And all that we are doing here is we're going to expand the box until, hopefully, okay, so there's more than one word there. So we're going to expand the box until we have two clean lines, and then we're going to move it to the middle. Now what I did there is it was over here, off-centered. So I left clicked and held it. So you left click and you hold it and you slide to the middle. And you know it's at the middle when you see this, uh, when you see the X there or uh, the, the cross there, the two lines crossing each other. Because if you go too high, you'll just have the one in the middle. If you go too far to the left, you won't have anything. If you're centered down the middle, you'll get the first one and then you'll be uh, centered from uh, top to bottom like that. So we're going to go through and we're going to do that on all of these slides. So just expand it, uh, slide it, make sure that we're centered up here. Make sure that we are centered up and we are. So you're just going to keep going through this. Uh, left click on the text, expand the box, Expand the box and hopefully all the words will fit on one line. 
Okay, so on this one, as you can see, so on this one, as you can see, it doesn't exactly all fit into the box. And so what we're going to do is we're going to drop the, the size of the text on this one slide just slightly. Not a lot, uh, because if you drop it a lot, it's going to be obvious. So you, can, you hit Command on the keyboard, Command, Minus. And you want to see how many, you see we were here, um, and let's go ahead and actually, let's see if we can get it. Okay, so here we are, it actually fits. So if you need to drop the, the text in a box, you, can, you hit command, and then the minus. Command, then minus, and it will drop the text. Now to bring it back, you're going to hit Command Plus, and that's how you get it to be back into a large, uh, the larger text. So that's how you do that, and you keep going. You left click on the box, you drag it, you make sure that it's all there, and then you center. Make sure you get the two lines to so make sure that it's centered. There we go. We're just going to go through. Uh, these look good. These look good. This one, we want to make sure that we fix this one as well. So we left clicked and then we dragged the edges of the box. Make sure that it's centered and it is. There we go. All right, so you left click, drag the box. And then you just keep doing it. You go down, you left click on the box, drag the edge. And then you just keep doing it until um, it's all fixed. Left click on the box, drag the edge. There you go. All right, keep going. Uh, I, I want to make sure that I said this. I'm not sure if I did. So you left click on the box and you click on the, you see on the rectangle here, the outline. Uh, that's the outline of our text box. You want to click on the square in the middle, which will allow you to drag it to the slot, uh, side. So I think this one should work. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. And you just center it, and there you go. And so you left click, click on the little square in the uh, middle of that uh, purple line or blue line, whatever color that is. You drag it and you drop it, and there you go. And so you just uh, keep doing this all the way until the end. And there you go. All right, so we have this one uh, pretty much uh, ready to go. Uh, as you can see, you can slide up and down on this side over here, make sure that everything is good. So over here, uh, you'll see, okay, so we have this one. How do we get back to, uh, back to where we were a second ago? So you, you take your mouse right here, and you go and you click Show on the top left corner, uh, and it says enter show mode. Okay, so now uh, whenever you whenever you first uh, put a song uh, in here, there's going to be no background on the song. So you come and click on it, and as you can see over here, this is um, let me clear this out. Okay, so you start off over here. Uh, you look at verse one. You click and you look over here. This is your preview. Uh, section, as you can see, there's no background to it, and that's not what we want. So what you do is you take your mouse, uh, which is over here, and you come down to the bottom left side, and I have uh, all the media listed. So you have your pre-service loop, which is all the media that we use for uh, before the countdown, and then we have countdowns. We'll have more than that at some point. Uh, Sermon on the Mount uh, stuff, Sermon for Wade, and then we have worship loops. So here, uh, you come into worship loops, and I'm going to make this, this box a little bit bigger. And you have all these options of worship loops, and we'll have more as we go through. And so you just want to say, hey, <clears throat> what, what worship loop really fits into uh, what, what, this, what we're trying to do? So let's just go ahead and pick this one. Uh, I think I'm probably going to change it. I may get another one. So 
what you do here is uh, you click on the worship loop, and now as you go through the song, you have the background as you can see over here. So you want to make sure that you have that in there. So once you add a new song to Pro Presenter, it's going to automatically go to the Sunday morning service. So uh, where we were just a second ago is we were on songs over here under library. So under library, you go to songs. That's where you add in the different songs that we have. And you can see them all listed here, okay? So now you're going to click on Sunday morning. The song that we just added, This Is Amazing Grace, is right here. And so you're going to drag it to the top. Uh, you left click on it and you drag it uh, right below countdown. We're going to take this off. So now you have the pre-service loop, you have the countdown, and then you have our first song. Okay, so that is how you put a new song into uh, Song Select. In the next video, I'm going to show us uh, how we uh, do uh, a special layout of the song, like in order of the song that we're going to uh, sing. So uh, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.